uh, Grace Field, thank you for joining us. Now, over your left shoulder is a giant World Cup balloon, which has been following you around in your day job, hasn't it, for the last few weeks? Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so part of my day job has been um, to, is to work at York St John um, at the sports facility, so coordinating student sport alongside um, general facility bookings and um, community events. Um, so, yeah, I've been... Um, Seen this ball a fair few times over the past few over the past month or so with our um, World Cup festivals that have been hosting both secondary and primary. So when you're not playing for England in in a World Cup, tell us about your role at St John's. So um, I mostly I am responsible for organising student sport and um, organising books fixtures. So. Um, making sure that students are at the right place at the right time, making sure that fixtures can go ahead. Um, when I'm not doing that, I'm, obviously, I'm helping to oversee the general running of the York St John Haxby Road Sports Park um, bookings and just general facility usage. So combining St John's, uh, England Rugby League, York City Knights successful season as well. It's been uh, a frantic full on year, but now it's here. We're at the tournament launch. How does it feel to be sort of on the precipice of, of the action yeah it's been um, it's been a crazy past year or two um, with the postponement of it last year leading into this year at times it's just been hectic but worth it um, I'm just fortunate that I have a really understanding employer and they're more than happy to allow me to go and pursue my um, career outside of work as well as within work um, and the success of the uh, the Knights ladies last year um, has been great I've really been really enjoyable and I've had a great time and so are you on secondment now essentially for the next what three weeks four weeks uh, yes yeah, so they've been very kind to let me have time off um, whilst still <laughs> taking over full wage but yeah um, I think it's employers such a, who have that kind of um, vision for the staff I think they're the ones going forward who are going to breed the most successful environments and I think uh, yeah, very grateful, very fortunate to be working for such a generous employer. And you're obviously going into camp with England, but we're here at this event and all nations, all competing nations are represented. What do you make about what you've seen and heard here today at York? It's been a great event, hasn't it? It's um, everyone speaking so positively about their experiences of rugby league. Um, I know, I've, like I say, I have positive experiences within rugby league, but to look at the impact that it's having around the globe, we've got a South American team playing, we've got girls who've travelled from Papua New Guinea, uh, the Cook Islands, and I think it's just fantastic to hear their stories and what they're sacrificing to be here, but at the same time, how positive they see it. And there's a sort of camaraderie and a friendliness, uh, uh, as there should be, about an occasion like this. But next week, it, it's down to action on the field, isn't it? And uh, those sorts, it's time to put friendships to one side, isn't it? Yeah, I think the great thing about women's rugby is that the community of it, I think um, no matter what nation or club you represent, uh, everyone is just so driven on rugby league and it's just fantastic to see but yes at the end of the day when you get on when you step onto the pitch you have to put all um, friendships and loyalties aside to um, make sure that you come out on top and how are you feeling yourself you know physically mentally going into the tournament yeah i'm feeling much better than i did a few months ago obviously a bit of a shake into the back of the season but uh, yeah i'm feeling good ready to go um, and i just can't wait to get out there it's been far too long well, we wish you well. We, will, we wish England well. Have a great tournament. No, thank you very much.